this bear is not right. This bear is just not normal. But I gotta save my dog. Gotta save my dog. It began like any other night for Heather Willoughby, letting her dog outside before calling it a night. But something was off. I could see her in the light and I knew that she was coming, but I could also hear that she wasn't coming alone and that something big was right behind her. Something big indeed. A 300 pound black bear had just gone head to head with eight year old Lucy, a black bear that refused to turn away. It was just not giving in, not retreating with me yelling, not, nothing, just pause full spread. Heather was able to get Lucy inside. That's when she saw Lucy's injuries and knew she needed to take her to the emergency vet. Problem is that would require getting past the bear. Normally you can bang pots and pans or yell at them and they'll run away. This bear was not doing that. In an effort to scare the bear away, Heather pushed the panic button on her truck. She scanned the trees with her flashlight and proceeded to her vehicle. Coast was clear, but with Lucy in the back seat and her sights set on the vet, Heather turned around to see the bear was back. It just it kept eye contact. I kept on eye contact, and I was just like, I don't have time for you right now, bear. I need to save my dog. Calmly and swiftly, Heather proceeded to the driver's seat and began her drive to Traverse City's Bay Area Pet Hospital. Unable to stay by Lucy's side due to the coronavirus pandemic, Heather remained in her car, unaware of the extent of Lucy's injuries. Lucy had to undergo surgery as a result of the claw marks on her torso, shoulders and paws. It wasn't until Monday afternoon she was able to return home to Heather. Eating, drinking, so she's on the road to recovery. It's just going to be a long one for her. As Lucy begins her recovery, Heather believes it was her bird feeders that attracted the bear. She took to Facebook sharing a warning for others with feeders on their property. Bring your feeders in. No one would ever guess it, that something like this would happen to their dog. In a time where many of us feel more isolated than ever, Heather is thankful for the amount of support she's received online. It's been overwhelming. So thank you for your love support. It's not just the Grayling community. It's been through the whole country. Reporting in Grayling, Natalie Spala, 7 and 4 News.